very well uh, when you compare it to the number of years I've been there and the impact my life and ministry I've been able to make <coughs> in the worship mi 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 uh, ministry and, uh, as a protagonist in, on the Nigerian soil. But it's something I'm getting to learn now to, 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 to live up with. You can actually do that, build your fan base, and get your stuff running. So I believe today I've been able to share some few lights on this. But I want to ask Pastor Kingsley, why I wait for your question. I want to ask Pastor Kingsley, um, how did you, how do you keep up your pastor, your, your, your musical? So how... What, what extra thing do you do about your skill? Praise God. It's a privilege to be here, Reverend, on this on set with you. You're welcome. Um, I would say I'm blessed because um, the, being, in, being a pastor and then doing music at the same time, they tend to be kind of related because in scripture, you look at it, the Levites were the priests, they were also <laughs> the musicians. <laughs> In church. So I just see them to be together. So what I do, I study the world. My daily dreams are normal. And since music is what I do for a living, it makes me work every day. It makes me work every day. Just that I need to create some more time for to build the chops, you build the chops <laughs> to keep the chops moving. The fingers. The fingers <laughs> moving, yes. Because if you don't, uh, there's this saying that if you don't rehearse or don't practice for a day, you will know. If you don't wow. practice for two days, your wife should know. <laughs> if you don't practice for a week, the audience will know. <laughs> okay. There's a saying like that. So I, what I do, since they are intertwined in a way, every day I improve on both parts of my ministry. Good. Uh, Pastor Igusa, <clears throat> he's a multi-instrumentalist. He plays the guitar, he plays the keyboard, he plays the violin, and today he's just on the violin. How do, you, how, how do you put all of this together? How did you come by this? So I, I started very early, and uh, I didn't really plan it. I loved the, the drums, and uh, from there I started playing piano. And I understand one thing. If you're learning an instrument, you have to learn one at a time, because if you're learning both, it will, it will drain you kind of. But co I would like to say coincidentally, I just learned the piano. And... Um, with the piano, those of you that understand music, you know that piano is like a house of all the instruments. So while learning the piano, I was able to have the basics of music. So from there, getting the guitar was easy. Then uh, the rhythm guitar was also not too hard. Then the violin, which is a little bit difficult, also uh, a string instrument, you know? I just keyed everything in, and uh, by God's grace, I'm here today. We're still working. <laughs> that must have been really been real <laughs> hard work, because the violin doesn't have doesn't have frets. So, right, yeah. I remember the first time I picked a violin, uh, I did my 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 skill myself. It took me time, and seeing you play it today, it's amazing. All right, so we're gonna take questions. Um, we're gonna take questions. Um, this is the moment where we take questions. So if you have questions, please do, please do ask. And because our time is, we're left with less than 10 minutes to be out of air. Okay. All right. If you have a question, please do, do ask. Then if you want to request a song, please do request now so we can, we can all be on the same page. Okay. If you're going to be good, if you're going to be good, you have to give it time. You have to give it time. I remember I was, uh, I was trying to train to be a perfect pitcher. Um, as a singer, I didn't attain it, but recently I just thought to myself I should, I should work on it. So I'm planning. I'm planning. Pastoring is serious work. <laughs> I can't tell. Faster in his serious <laughs> work, you know. And a church like, and a church like <laughs> ours is, is like an institution. 
So it's very, very serious work and a hard work, but it's very, very interesting. In fact, I feel very fulfilled doing what I'm doing. But I'm planning that very soon, I when, I, when I settle some stuff about ministry, when I have a little more time, have more persons um, handling the things I handle, some things I handle, I will walk back to that my dream of becoming a perfect preacher. Now, what we say a perfect preacher we, we, is someone who, who is perfect in understanding sound. That if you, if you sound skills, chords, that listen, by just listening to sound, you can tell the technical height of the sound, and you can as well tell the chord formation, the name, everything. That's, that's, that's it. Um, I, I got to the point where when I know the key, I would know the chords, but I've lost touch of some <laughs> of those things now. But I'm going, to, I'm going to get there to be able to know the technical heights. Yes, I think I've almost, I've almost, mastered, I've almost mastered the octaves. I've mastered the octaves. I'll get there. <laughs> I'll, I'll get there. So it takes hard work. Somebody's ask, somebody might ask, of oh, what use is that in singing? It's just the fun of it. Uh, first, it's the fun of it. Then number two, you, you almost cannot sound off. Because when you hear it, you know where it is. It's like you're having a graph in front of you. Yes. So, okay. Oh. A question. Can a gospel singer do secular song? <clears throat> Understand this. The answer to this is, is simple. Understand this. That if you are to sing a... If you are to sing... Okay, let me put it like this. Worship is defined as paying obeisance to a deity. Singing is defined as making lyrics, making music through lyrics. And it is lyrics that defines worship. It is lyrics that defines who you are worshiping. So if you are singing secular songs, what they call secular songs, what kind of secular songs? Who does that song worship? If that song glorifies anything that is against scripture, then you are singing an anti-Christian message. You are giving an anti-Christian message, which is like trying to deny your faith or your real you. So I'm not going to say don't sing a secular song. I'm going to ask you, who do you worship? Hmm. That defines who you sing to or who you sing for. There are many inspirational songs. There are uh, quite a number of people that sing inspirational songs. Somebody like B.B. Um, uh, Winans um, and C.C. Winans of those days. <clears throat> Somebody like uh, Timmy Dakolo, who is a Christian, but he sings inspirational songs. Yes, it, there's nothing wrong about that. So if you're going to sing a song, let it be a song that does not def deny your object of worship, which is Christ. That's the way I'm going to leave it. <laughs> okay. What else? Okay, when singing and you see the audience is not, is not following you, um, audience don't follow sometimes, not because of not because they don't know the song. They might not just be connecting with it. That's why you must be prayerful to ask the Holy Spirit, where do I go from here? Sometimes you might already have those songs on the script, but it's not moving. If, it's not, if you sing a song once, uh, uh, two times, three times, and people are not following you, try to push it four the fourth time, they're not following you. Change the song. Just change the song. Go to the next thing on your list. And if you're like me who have grown to the point where many times you don't go with a list and ask the Holy Spirit what, so, what other song to sing, then as you sing it, you will see the difference. Once the people can connect with it, then your worship leading would have been most effective. Okay. All right. All right. 
I'm waiting for you. We're about to go. <clears throat> okay. Um, we're going to put the we're going to put the uh, the advert for the song. I I need to know what I need to know what what, what they're saying now. We're going to put the advert for the for the holy com holy challenge challenge, and um, by in two weeks time we're going to be doing the audition right here on hangout Wednesday hangout so Wednesday hangout will be the day we're going to do the audition before the the if you live around the Saba and you want to join our, our worship team we're setting up a worship team in our Saba uh, please do uh, go to um, Shirel Asaba, uh, sorry, um, Swim Asaba on Instagram, and just follow the information there on the on the post we have right there on the page, and and then we call. send me a DM if you're watching, and we'll get back to you on what to do. All right, one more question. Um, Okay, um, a question, one more question here. It says, sir, please, who will you consider as a terrible singer? Or should I say, how can you describe a terrible singer? Okay, a terrible singer is one who cannot stay on key, who cannot pitch the note on the key well, and who cannot stay on beat. So we say he has a bad tonality. Yeah. A terrible singer for me is someone who... who has a battle.